This is the shadow painting project, and we're going to use the shadow to create an amazing painting. Uh, welcome to the art project. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. I come out with uh, new content uh, pretty much every other day or a couple of times a week at least. And if you enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. So the first thing I did was I took a photograph. Uh, me and a friend were standing outside Barnes & Noble talking, and I noticed this shadow was pretty cool looking, so I snapped a picture of it. Um, I then took a piece of drawing paper. Uh, you can use canvas or whatever else you want to use to do this, but I took a piece of drawing paper, and I taped it to a drawing board, and then I painted it white. Normally, I would let the white dry overnight and the result is a nice stretched piece of paper but I didn't wait instead uh, I drew into the white paint with the wrong end of the paintbrush the other end of the paintbrush I drew into it the uh, image there's a photograph that you can't see above my painting here and I while looking at it drew into the white paint so that I could see it uh, after drawing that I immediately started uh, painting uh, and I probably should have waited but I was kind of in a hurry wanted to get it done not really get it done but wanted to get started and so I just kind of jumped right in and started painting and because I jumped right in my blue paint uh, mixed with the white and became sort of a light blue um, but that's okay I kept going I added some black to it to differentiate it from the shadow that I'm about to put down here um, of course, I, I did everything uh, sort of freehand that's not completely necessary. You can use the light table or the projector or whatever device is necessary to get your image down on the canvas. Um, but I, I freehanded it this time. And because I freehanded it, I do have a lot of mistakes that I don't really like. And so you're going to see through the progression of this video how I... Uh, change it just by going over it with white and then back over it with blue and so on. I also needed several coats in order to get um, a nice uh, even um, painting uh, even though I was being painterly and using lots of brush strokes and and that sort of thing I didn't really want the translucency the transparency of the paint uh, so you'll notice this is just the beginning. This is just the ground painting, the um, or the underpainting, as it's called. And so uh, I just kind of put down the colors that I thought I wanted, uh, knowing good and well that I was going to go back over them um, a couple of times to get either uh, several coats down or to manipulate the color more. And it's all sort of a trial and error process. So once I got uh, this layer of paint uh, down, then I started using the same colors to sort of um, uh, tweak the shapes of the shadow and the shapes of the um, legs and the painting. You'll see that as we go. Uh, kind of look at it, and, and it's okay. I mean, the shape of the shadow is not awful I think you can kind of tell by the shape of it uh, that it is a person's shadow and they're holding a cell phone but it doesn't look just like the photo in fact it never actually does look just like the photo uh, but it doesn't look very close here so I decided to kind of work that a little bit better also uh, the pant legs in the photo are uh, a lot darker because of the light source This is my second coat of blue on the shadow. And then this is uh, getting a little bit closer to the color that I wanted in the background. This is sort of my go-to method when I paint to uh, blend from black to red and then from red to pink. Um, I mean, not in every painting, obviously, I don't always use those colors, but using these colors, this is the way I usually do it. But then I realized that it didn't need to have any pure red anywhere, really. And later on in the um, video, you'll see that I actually um, continued the black on down 
and then mix the reddish black or the dark red uh, with white as I went towards the bottom. Here I am using that white to kind of clean up the shape and I'm going to use white to clean up this area too. Did not like the way the um, head of the shadow was uh, shaped and the hand was a little bit too much. I just kind of carved a little blue off of the shadow right there and I just carved a little off the head. I'm going to uh, take some blue and um, kind of get it back in shape. And I'm going to take the blue and kind of add to it again and uh, bring it back out. And so this is where I was mixing the uh, red and black into the white. And then I went around it a little bit with the uh, lightest of the values. It kind of gave it a little outline, I think, to bring the shadow out a little bit more. And then I realized that I completely missed the red area between the two legs. And then I think I painted it kind of the wrong color. I got a little bit too much black in there or something, and I had to bring it back into the rest of the area. Sort of sort of repainted this area that I'm working on right here all over again. I think a good rule of thumb is you can never really have too many layers of paint on a painting. And just give the um, the legs, the pant legs, a little bit of substance um, by putting in some other values in there. Once I finished with the painting and took some pictures of it, I looked at the pictures a little bit later on after I left school, and there's still a lot of work that I would like to do to the shoes and a few more layers I'd like to put on the shadow but I have to do that another time Once I got to a point where um, I was satisfied with the background, I um, drew some lines that are in the photograph, kind of the separations in the concrete uh, on the sidewalk there. And then I uh, took the tape off of the painting. Here I am taking the tape off the painting, and I think it <clears throat> makes it look really, really nice. <clears throat> um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. If you've got any suggestions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching my video. Your turn. Go make some art.